Good news coming out of Congress. Last night, the House of Representatives voted on extending the PPP loan program for another 60 or 90 days. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hello from Freedom Tax Accounting. We're an accounting firm where we have been providing quality tax and accounting services now for over 20 years. Today is March 17th, and we, and we always emphasize the date of the recording on any video relating to the PPP loan program because this program is constantly changing. So there may be things in this video that we discuss that may change as soon as this afternoon or tomorrow. So that's the importance of subscribing to our channel. That way you're always up to date with the most current and correct information re relating to these SBA loans. Now, what happened yesterday? Let me show you. Last night, the House of Representatives voted on the PPP Extension Act of 2021, and it passed the House. As you can see here, it passed the House on a almost unanimous vote of 415 to 3. Now, this doesn't mean that it's extended, officially extended. Now, this has to go to the Senate, and then it needs to go to the president in order to become law. But since basically the vote was 415 to 3, it most probably there's a very good chance that this also will get approved in the Senate because of all the bipartisan um agreement on this matter now how does if this becomes law how will it extend the ppp loan program uh the act says basically let me go back here if this gets approved basically it is going to extend the ppp loan program application date until may 31st so basically they are extending the application period another 60 days and the act also says that the sba has another 30 days after may 31st to continue uh, processing applications that are submitted before may 31st so for example right now the due date is march 31st but by march 31st under the current law you have to have a PPP approved by March 31st. Now, what they are extending is the application date. So by if it gets approved by May 31st, you have to have your PPP application submitted because the SBA has another 30 days after May 31st to actually approve or process your PPP loan application okay so this is good news um because realistically there have been so many changes in this program and the banks and the sba has had so many issues with their online systems that this was necessary to provide additional help for small business owners to get their ppp1 or their ppp2 approved on time okay now we also wanted to answer one of the most common questions we are getting here in our office, and that is, can I change? If I applied for a PPP-1 or a PPP-2 and I already got it as a Schedule C filer, and I got it based on the old PPP formula, okay, meaning that your PPP formula was based on line 31, your net profit, can I now change it to, uh, with the new formula, which is using line seven, which is your gross income. And can I get the difference of the increase in PPP funds that I am entitled to? The answer to that as of today, March 17th, 10.06 a.m. Orlando, Florida time is no. At this time, the SBA has still not provided a way for Schedule C filers who already got a PPP-1 or a PPP-2 to change to get the higher amount of PPP. As of now, the only people who can uh, get the PPP with 
the Schedule C with the new formula using Line 7 are people who have not received the PPP1 or who are applying for the PPP2 now, okay? I'm pretty sure that's going to change now that they have given this program or they will give this program additional time. I think it's only fair that the SBA does provide a way in the future so that so if you are a Schedule C filer and got a PPP1 or a PPP2 that you are able to reapply and get the difference. But that is still not official as of right now. But at least uh, this uh, we do know that the House did vote almost a unanimous vote. Now is going to the Senate if approved then uh, this, this PPP program is going to get extended, okay? We just wanted to bring this information to you. Uh, remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video with other business owners that can take advantage of this information. You know that we are praying for you. We are praying for your business. We are praying for your family. And let's get through this coronavirus pandemic together, all right? God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.